Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Wix tutorial by your guy Nino. I'm glad that you guys are back and ready for a new one. So today I'm gonna get into actually working out a database light box menu. Uh, and shout out to Ingpro Supplier SAS uh, for actually coming up with this question of like, I want to uh, use my Wix Lightbox and database to populate a menu item uh, on their page. So that's what I'm gonna do today and let's get started. All right, so first what you wanna do guys is go to your header, create a strip, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, go to your header, create a strip, okay, and then split this strip into two. And the way you do that is go to your layouts and then you create an equal proportion of layouts. And if you don't see this, you can go to manage columns and then you can add a column here. Okay, then now I give you two columns. Then you wanna go over here to add it and you wanna add a button. All right, once you have the button corrected and ready to go, slide it on over to here where you're gonna put your menu. Okay then I'm going to name this home. All right, so I got my home button here and I'm gonna connect that to home, this right here, the current window. Click done, exit out of that. Let's move this over just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna press control D to duplicate that right here and I'm gonna name this services. Okay, so once you have the services button, Okay, I want you to click on it. And what I want you to do is press Control C, uh, or you can come over here and press this button right here to copy. All right, now we're gonna move on to adding our light box. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a light box here. We're gonna go down to subscribe for updates, uh, subscribe top. Okay, we're gonna get that. We're gonna delete the Wix form. Okay, cause we don't need it. Okay, thank you for letting me know about that. I'm going to pin this X right here to the side. This will just readjust for any type of screen uh, that you are on. So that means if you're at a wide screen like this, or if you're on a smaller screen, like a, uh, like a laptop that is very small, it will adjust for you just like that. So I appreciate Wix for having this pin uh, option. Next you want to go here to your light box. All right. And then you want to adjust the design. I'm going to put this design to the same type of color that I have in the background. And then I'm going to bump this down to about 10%. Okay. Looks just like my overlay layer. I'm gonna drag this light box all the way down like this, give me uh, some space. Next, I'm gonna go and actually add a list, okay? Or a grid, whichever one you wanna call it. I'm gonna add this list and this is gonna be my repeater item, okay? So I'm gonna delete these out of here cause I don't need them uh, actually. And then I'm going to decrease the items because I don't need this many items here. Okay. Then I'm going to change the background. Okay. To zero. All right. So we're making progress. So now what I'm going to do here is click on the repeater item. I'm going to change the layout to be right adjustment. Okay. Right align. And then I'm going to make this a little bit smaller per se. Okay. And then I want to be creative with this stuff. So I'm going to create some type of picture or something like that. All right. I'm going to create a picture and a button. So what I want you to do is click this here, paste, because remember we copied our button beforehand. So you want to paste that button here. I'm going to put that button right here. Okay. And since 
I know that it's going to be a service. What I want to do here is uh, style it up a little bit, but I mean, you guys can do whatever you guys want to do in terms of style and formats. Uh, but right now I'm just going to make it quick, short and simple. Uh, let's add a image. Okay. To this. Let's see. I'll go to free Wix images. All right. Bring that over to the repeater. All right. So put that right next to the button. Okay. So once we have this button here, what we want to do is make a database. Since we have everything here, everything working, now let's create that database. All right, so let's get that started. All right, once we have that, we'll go right into the database. All right, so here is just gonna be basic and simple. Okay, we're gonna use our title here to display the menu item name okay and then what we're going to do here is we're going to make a new field name it image so i just say img and we're going to replace that with an image field type okay then we'll have to create the link so i'll just say link and this will be a url that will link inside of your site. So that means that you would need to keep up with your database for menu items whenever you're changing a certain URL. Uh, there might be another simpler way of doing this, but right now, as of now, the quick short way to do it is to create uh, a URL um, attachment right here. So I will instead call it URL. I'll click enter to add. Okay. Now, what types of services do I want? We will we'll put in uh, event and then we'll put in an image from our media, Wix media. And what I love about this search is that we can just search event and it will bring us back pictures of events. Great. Okay. So I like all these pictures. These are really great pictures. Thank you, Wix. Uh, I'm gonna create this, I mean, not create. I'm gonna pick this paper lantern, okay? I think that looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna add that image and then the URL will be going to any type of uh, thing in my site. So that means I would say www, uh, excuse me, HTTP um, and then I would put google.com, okay? Boom, got the link straight. But if you're using a free site, what you'll have to do here is put in, uh, you know, your, your, it'll start off with your email address, which would be, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, so if your email address is blah, 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 you can say blah, blah, blah. Okay. And then it'll say dot Wix site, site.com slash, then you put in your URL. Well, excuse me. Then you put in the name of your site actually. So the name of your site, which this would be digital marketing or something like that. So I'll just say digital. Okay. And then slash, then that will be your page name. Okay and whichever one that would be, that would be like home or something like that. And so boom, you have your blah, 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 dot wix.com, uh, wixsite.com slash your site name. Okay. And then your page name. Now that's for free sites. If you have an actual premium site and you're paying for a Wix site, then what you'll go and do is take out all of this, uh, blah, 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 and replace that with the type of uh, URL that you have for your site. So I'm just gonna say blah.com slash take your digital out because you don't need the name of your site there anymore. And then you just put in home, which that will be your home site. Uh, or you can just leave it as that blah, blah, blah.com and it will go straight there. But right now, just to show you as a demonstration, 
I'm going to put google.com. Okay. Shout out to Google. Thanks. All right. So once you have this in here as event, you can go here to the next one here, get creative. Uh, I'm just going to put a uh, service and then I'll create my link HTTP. Uh, then I'm going to put it to amazon.com. Shout out to Amazon. Thanks for, you know, you guys help and support for this. <laughs> no, I'm playing. So then you want to click here sync. Okay. So that this can be synced from sandbox and to live. Okay. Right now we're not going to do that right now because I'm not going to be publishing this site. So once you have that in place, what you want to do here is you want to go back to data. You want to go to add data elements, go to data set, and then you're going to click settings. You're going to go and connect it to your collection, which is menu items. It's going to be read only. Okay. And boom, you're already set. Now go back to your repeater, go into your repeater, go to your connect to data. All right. Connect it to your menu, menu items data set, and then go inside your repeater and connect the image. Okay. So we're going to go back to connect the data set image sources, image and alt text is just the title. We'll have the tooltip be the title as well. And this link will connect to the URL so that if anybody clicks on it, they can get redirected there. Then for your button, what you'll need to do is connect it as well. So URL now be connected to your title. All right, boom, pretty much set. Okay. What we'll need to do here is actually go here, click home, uh, click services actually first and link it to your light box. All right. So you link it to subscribe top done. What you want to do here is you want to click on both of these copy both. Okay. Go back to your light box, bring it over like this next to services. And then we'll change this text to home. So basically having the same setup that you would on your home site and let's get a little uh, cool about this. I'm going to bring this all the way up to this color and I'm going to bring up the hundred boom. All right. And then, so for here, I'm going to change the setup overlay background. I'm going to bring this all the way to 75, bring this to a darker color. So it actually looks like it's a drop down. And then I'm going to animate this. Okay. I'm going to animate this to float in just like that. See that? So let's customize that float. Let's make the duration a little bit longer and it's going to come from the top. You have all these other options. I will talk more about that in another tutorial and it will be located right in the right hand corner as I speak uh, about animations. All right. So you press back and you are pretty much set. Okay. So now all you have to do is click save. Okay. My site save. And then when you preview it, you want to be previewed on this screen. So you press preview. You have your Wix site here ready. You click on services and boom, you have your light box right here, ready to go connected to web, web design, event marketing, and you have your pictures here. So definitely get creative with this. I really enjoyed having you guys here. Uh, if you want, click that like button if you like this video and subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in the next video. All right, guys. Ciao.